have a couple guys that I'm working with and we have two guys that are going to be freshmen this next year coming up and they're both roughly the same velocity. They're within like 25 days of each other on a birthday. One of them comes in, he throws 20 pitches. The other one throws 20 pitches in a sim game. One of them lost 18% strength. One of them actually lost 0% strength. So one of those guys were actually under training by looking at that post throwing exam. We're able to know which one of these guys is able to handle more workload and which one needs to do a little less. We're able to allocate better development reps. That was one of the things we did with Bimal. You know, we, he was sending me text messages, phone calls, doing all these things. We're helping him guide his throwing volumes based on those pre and post exams. And it really skyrocketed for him. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that says he should be throwing harder at the end of his career than he did at the peak of his career, but he was doing it because he was monitoring that throwing. Not only that, but he was taking that data, doing stuff very similar to what they're doing here at Top Velocity and dialing in a custom arm strength program. So not just doing the generalization equals hospitalization, yeah. he was customizing his arm strength to maximize his performance. And then another thing on that with the elbow injuries. You know, I had another kid who was playing for me and you know, we went into the summer. I really want these guys not doing a whole bunch of competitive aspects over the summer. I want them training. I want them getting better. I want them coming back bigger, stronger, more durable, working on pitch development, whatever that may be. And he said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm selling in. I'm going all out on the showcase scene. I'm going 100% in on it. About six weeks in, he shoots me a text. He goes, hey, I'm getting an MRI. I said, OK, let's, <laughs> let's come on in. Let's get you tested out. I want to know what your strength is. Let's see what you're at. He had, a, he had a big strength loss, but it was nothing that I've seen in a surgery case before. So he gets his results back, just a ton of inflammation. Everything's good. So we were able to, if he was just testing regularly, if you're gonna go in on that stuff, you need to have a good strength program guided by a, by a competent coach that's gonna help you maximize your performance and your health. You gotta be able to do both. Yeah, it's, it's huge. And you know, this is why I love coming here, okay? I've talked to Brent for a very long time. I talked to a lot of leaders in baseball. They're all amazing. They're all super intelligent. They all have great processes. They're getting results. But my goal is, and same with Jordan and our company, is to give them the resources they need so that players keep coming back. You know, the average Tommy John surgery, that's my area, the elbow, um, it can take at the major league level almost 18 months, okay? 18 months to rehabilitate. If you imagine your son or even your daughter who, who plays um, and they have, you know, a Tommy John surgery, okay? And they have it as a sophomore. Well, you're kind of losing a lot of opportunity for one, development and opportunity to be seen. That's huge, you know? We need, that's why I say innings pitch is so important. It's, that's the career element. And I will say this too, you want to be a Hall of Famer? Like, think about it. If you want to be a Hall of Famer, you got to be out there. You got to log innings. You got to, you got to aggregate data. If you want to be the best in the game, you got to play for a while. There's not very many players that played less than 10 years that are in the Hall of Fame as pitchers. I, there's maybe Sandy Koufax, there's not many of them. Okay, they're elite. But you need to be able to have that process so that the athlete can get what they want out of the game. They can see things, they can go to college, they can play indie ball, they can be drafted and signed. And the only thing that doesn't allow them to do that is if they actually don't play. And that happens with injury. I mean, one thing that comes to mind on that is it's that you want the pain of discipline or the pain of disappointment. Yep. And if you come to a place like a top velocity, you're probably gonna get the pain of discipline, but you're gonna get to keep playing, you're gonna get your name up on this wall, you're gonna keep pushing your development while doing it smart and monitored. Yep. I mean, it's. Go ahead, Brent. I'm just saying, when, you, when you're done, tell them how to find you, follow you, all those things. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you basically, I mean, it's in the name, armcare.com. Just go there. Um, our emails are easy, ryan at armcare.com, jordan at armcare.com. We put out so much on YouTube, okay? Um, as you can see, I love to educate. Jordan loves to educate. Uh, we have mini lectures there. We have our arm care effects. Our mini lectures are called arm care IQs. Um, we have a lot of simple ways that you can see how to use the device. There's a lot of walkthroughs that you can see. Jordan does um, uh, his, his arm care segments that are really focused, really coach speak. Uh, I'm more on the strength coach, medical side of things, uh, biomechanical realm. Jordan actually puts pieces together on how you would use this to coach and has great examples with his players. Um, and, you know, we have courses. So, that, you know, some of these pieces are from our, our certification course. We have a certified arm care specialist course. I think everybody should have this in high performance baseball to be an expert because you may not want to use our training and that's okay. You might want to just say, hey, we're going to use the app as a diagnostic, but you know, we are giving you all the tools, all the education necessary that you can create these individualized programs based on our data. 
All right, that's huge. It's something for everybody. Um, we're building mini courses. There's just going to be a lot of information for you guys, and we're just very grateful to be here today because it's hard to get the message out. It really is, and, and Brent's one of the best in the game, and you know I love talking to him, and I'm so happy that he's, you know, his staff is using this because their players are going to get results.